I'm Natasha Antonioni, a realtor and intentional interior designer here in Austin, Texas. I am sharing with you a five part series on how to manifest your dream home. And this week is step two, setting realistic goals. If you missed step one, then hit that pause button, go back, watch step one, and then jump into this video. So was it realistic for me to get the ruby that Jennifer had? Probably not because we didn't have the budget for it. So as much as I could have wished that into creation, and there are a lot of people online talking about manifesting things that are so far out of their realm. But what I suggest when we're kind of newer to this game, it's like building up a muscle, right? We're building up that muscle. So set realistic goals, something that's attainable. If your budget for your new home is 850,000, you may not want to vision a two and a half million dollar house. You can get there, but one step at a time. What is realistic on the edge? Push yourself, but what's realistic in your future? It's kind of a frequency thing. So you are here and you want to be here you have to start resonating. Oh, well, maybe you want to be here, but we have to start resonating with the stages in between, like a ladder going up one ring at a time. So be realistic and go for goals that you can achieve so that you can build up that inner confidence in knowing that yes, you are a creator and yes, you can have the home of your dreams one step at a time by giving yourself the gift of being gentle with the process you get to build up the inner strength and knowing that you can create whatever it is you so choose well i hope you liked that video and found some valuable nuggets in there stay tuned for next week which is step three on sensory embodiment. We will see you then. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe below so you are sure to get every video we put out. Thanks and we'll see you next week. Bye.